such is the nature of life, we never know on any path we're on quite what the destination is going to be. This is Friday night in Skopje. Hi, I'm Rob Evans. I wanted to shoot this uh, from Wales, <laughs> which is where I'm based, to say how honoured I am to have been invited to speak at the 12th International HR Conference of the Macedonian HR Association. Many thanks, Melita, for such a, a nice introduction. Was with the conference yesterday as well. I'll be here uh, all day today. I thought it was an excellent series of presentations. Typically, the human resource element has happened before the key meeting where the decisions are taken. But it's slightly crazy because it's people that deliver the numbers. Push ourselves to get familiar with the unfamiliar. We can then really feel confident about turning our attentions to the particular situation that we're operating in. But even before the pandemic, we kind of had a pretty anxious workforce. Conference calls and meetings, a huge burden. And now looming, our people have got this prospect of the fourth industrial revolution. We've got to deliver results and reinvention in parallel. And they're worried about what that means for their role. It's no wonder in pockets around the world we have low levels of employee engagement. But the great thing is if we have the mindset for change, if change is in our DNA, we can really put ourselves in a very strong position both organisationally, steal a march on our competition, but also as an individual. The more we connect, the more we develop. The more we can engage with particularly those frontline individuals, the closer we get to the real business. We're all in business, even if we're a not-for-profit, even if we're a government organisation. We're delivering some kind of service and we have some kinds of investment. We should also think about leadership as, as, as supporting the entire organisation. These are dandelions. We need to build ourselves as individuals in ways that encourage others to help us prosper. The more time that we spend with our people throughout our organisation, sitting with them, understanding what it takes. One, the stronger the relationships with our people we build. Two, the more they're likely, because of our interest, to warm to us as individuals, I think, do get caught in the trap of, of almost being slightly disconnected from the actual business. The role becomes more administrative. And the more administrative our role, the shakier our foundations in being able to be a really strong commercial contributor to our organisation. How strong is our understanding of our organisation's sector? It's illustrating the cost savings. For the CEO and CFO, this is music to their ears because the focus and the mindset is numbers. The numbers get driven by people. Numbers are right at the top. So how comfortable are we as a human resources leader with numbers? Do we know our functions really well? If I'm speaking to CTOs or CFOs, I'm more likely to be talking about people. There's no book written which will tell us how to run our organisation, our team, our function, our leadership team. Every single role we have, we're always pioneering. To go out and seek as many different opinions and ideas as possible and try things out. Simplify things as much as possible. In my experience, the successful teams tend to cover four bases really well. They're not perfect across these four bases, but they tend to cover these four bases well. And that's people, principles, mechanics and culture. And we can use this as a lens. Some of the best people we can have in our organisation are bridge builders. Do we want to be the big boat or the little boat? What's our purpose? What's our desired culture? What are we setting out to do? We as a leadership team are clear about what we're setting out to do. It makes it much easier for our people as we have an organisation structure. We set up processes, we collect data. And that's what we see in many organisations. What's needed is small, but what's put around it is huge. Are we as an organisation easy to work with and easy to work for? P, P and M of PPMC leadership. We've dealt with people, we've dealt with principles and we've dealt with the mechanics, the operating mechanics, how we organise our working together. Our culture is our fuel. Welsh culture has developed over 2,000 years. We've got to create a culture in our organisation in months. That's a real challenge. Cultures aren't just affected by what we do, they're affected by the wider world. We can't fully control a culture, but there are things we can do. Energise our people. People affect our culture, our principles affect our culture, our mechanics affect our culture, and the things we do to try and build and grow and evolve and nourish our culture, they affect our culture. Is our team 
energizing to work with and energizing to work for. People love to drive down it quickly. Problem is, it goes through a village and this village is split by the road. It didn't cost much. It didn't take long to put up, but it's effective. It does what we need to do. Pragmatic, practical solutions. As we say in Wales, pub luck, good luck. Thank you. Over to you, Melita.